Lucia made this delicious looking roast chicken for her family, but looks alone couldn't tell her if it was cooked safely. This chicken will make a great meal, but it's important that Lucia cook it to the proper internal temperature, or bacteria that may be present could make her family sick. The only way to know for sure that the food is safe to eat is to use a food thermometer. While this chicken roasts, let's look at some other meals the family cooked this week. On Monday, Terence grills burgers. He knows that the color of the meat its firmness and the color of its juices are not indicators of when the meat is ready to eat. The only way to know for sure is to use a food thermometer. For burgers and thin meats, the food thermometer should be inserted into the side of the food. Terence cooks all of his burgers to the minimum 160 degrees Fahrenheit safe temperature. Now he is sure his food has gotten hot enough to kill any bacteria present. On Tuesday, Lucia makes chicken wings, breasts, and drumsticks. She inserts the food thermometer into the thickest parts of the meat to make sure they're all at least 165 degrees Fahrenheit. She makes sure the thermometer isn't touching bone, fat, or gristle to get the most accurate reading. Wednesday night is casserole night. Lucia checks the temperature in several places including the center, to be sure the dish is completely safe. Thursday night is Terence's night to cook. He makes pork chops. He inserts the food thermometer into the thickest part of the pork to make sure it's safe at 145 degrees Fahrenheit. He then lets it sit for three minutes before serving it to his family. Whole cuts of beef, pork, and lamb also need three minutes rest time before serving. During these three minutes after meat is removed from the heat source, its temperature remains constant or continues to rise, which destroys any remaining bacteria. Even though tonight's roast chicken may look cooked on the outside, Lucia needs to rely on the food thermometer to see the chicken's internal temperature. She will insert the food thermometer into three spots on the bird. First, the thickest part of the breast. Second, the innermost part of the thigh and third, the innermost part of the wing. With a food thermometer, Lucia can also be confident she won't overcook her food. Once she sees that the chicken is cooked to a safe internal temperature, Lucia cleans her food thermometer with soap and water. By properly using a food thermometer, Lucia protects her family from bacteria during Friday night's meal. For more information on using a food thermometer and proper cooking temperatures, visit foodsafety.gov. If you have specific questions, you can call the USDA's Meat and Poultry Hotline toll-free at 1-888-MP-HOTLINE.